the group calling itself Islamic State, has drawn in thousands of recruits from around the world, including many from Britain. And now a unique insight has emerged into who joined and how. It comes in these documents, smuggled out by a former member and obtained by some media organisations. The BBC has seen only a few of them, but they look to be personnel records, effectively application forms for those who arrived in Iraq and Syria. The questions to fill out range from the standard, name, date of birth and blood type, through to who recommended you, have you done jihad before and where, and do you want to be a fighter or a suicide bomber. Feuer frei für Ihre Fragen. The German government today confirmed it had received a copy of the files. In the opinion of the security services, these documents are in all probability authentic. They show how conscientious this criminal organization is and in part at least how effective it is. The documents are reported to include details of 16 Britons, including Junaid Hussain and Riyad Khan, both killed by drone strikes. Hundreds more Britons have gone out, and these documents are only thought to cover a period from late 2013 into early 2014. The security service, MI5, here are not making any comment on these documents, but the British authorities are thought to have been passed a copy, and if they do prove to be authentic, they could be a source of valuable intelligence. A former intelligence officer says the documents could help find those who've tried to evade the authorities. Clearly, uh, they will prompt or support investigations, particularly into people who have come back home and who may deny that they've be, ever been members of the Islamic State. Now, I mean, it's much harder to do that because clearly, although these records may not have been authenticated completely, they look highly genuine. IS may aspire to act like a state, even having its own personnel department. But in this case, the desire for record-keeping could prove to be its weakness. Gordon Carrera, BBC News.